set up GoCardus in Sage Accounting. Expand your payment options and get paid faster. GoCardus seamlessly integrates with Sage Accounting to provide more payment options for your customers. Easily set up direct debit mandates and automate the collection of recurring and one-off invoices. Improve your cash flow and save hours spent chasing late payments. GoCardless is the payment solution that lets your customers pay you quickly and easily, direct from their bank account. GoCardless successfully collects 97.3% of automated, recurring payments on the first try. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate GoCardless with Sage Accounting. You can either link to an existing GoCardless account or create a new one during the setup process. To learn more about the best time to connect an existing GoCardless account, please visit our Help Center. Let's set up GoCardless in Sage Accounting. Navigate to Settings and click Apps and Connections. In the Payment Services section, click GoCardless. Here, you can sign up for a new GoCardless account, or if you already have an account, you can sign in. If you have multiple businesses set up on Sage Accounting, you will need a separate GoCardless account for each business. To sign in, click this link. If you do not have a GoCardless account, click Create Account. GoCardless is authorized by the Financial Conduct Authority and is GDPR compliant. Any payments collected via direct debit are protected by the direct debit guarantee. To sign in to your GoCardless account, click the link. Enter the email address registered with your GoCardless account, then click Continue. Next, you'll receive a message with important information about your existing GoCardless account. If you connect to an existing GoCardless account, you may have outstanding payment requests and payouts. You can either wait for all payouts to finish, then integrate, or integrate with outstanding payouts. If you choose to integrate with outstanding payouts, there may be extra steps you need to take in Sage Accounting. To read more about this, click this link. To continue and confirm your understanding, select this checkbox. Then click Sign In to go cardless. Enter your GoCardless email and password, read and agree to the terms of service. Click Connect Account. Your accounts are now successfully linked. To complete the process, select the Sage Bank account you'd like to receive your GoCardless payouts to. Please note, all GoCardless fees will be automatically recorded against the bank charges and interest nominal code 7900. Once you have chosen the correct Sage Bank account from the drop down list, click Continue. Once connected, you can manage your GoCardless account here. To access this area at any time, go to Settings, Apps and Connections, and then click GoCardless. Any messages and important information will be shown at the top of the screen, including relevant links to help information. These can remain here until the relevant action is taken, or you can remove the message using the X on the right. In this example, there are existing mandates that must be assigned. Let's assign out existing mandates. To do this, click here. The GoCardus contact information appears in these columns. If the GoCardus email is matched with a contact email in Sage Accounting, you will see this message. Create the connection for these matches automatically by clicking here. The successful matches are confirmed and the Sage Accounting customer column is populated. To show more records on the page, use this drop down. To continue, click Next. Using the list of matched mandates, check all details are correct and the GoCardless contact matches the Sage Accounting customer. It is important that these matches are correct to avoid charging the wrong customer. To show more records on the page, use this drop down. If there's an incorrect match, click the Unmatch link here. Once you are happy with the listed matches, click Assign Mandates. Confirmation of the assigned mandates will show here. If you have any remaining unassigned mandates, you will receive this message. You can dismiss these messages using the X. To request a brand new mandate, click Request New Mandate. Select the relevant customer from the drop down list. When requesting a new mandate, your customer will receive a mandate request email. This email detail is shown here. To continue, click Send Email. 
the customer will appear in your direct debit mandates list. The mandate status is confirmed in this column. GoCardus will add steps for your customer to provide their banking information and authorize direct debit payments. The status will change from request sent to active once the direct debit mandate is set up and complete. Once your direct debit mandates are set up, you can use the actions drop down to manage individual mandates. Using this menu, you can create recurring and single invoices. These actions are covered in a separate video. To cancel the mandate, click here. The status will become inactive in Sage Accounting and the mandate will be canceled in GoCardless. To unassign the mandate, click here. The mandate will not be canceled and will remain active in your GoCardless account. The mandate will remain unassigned until you match this with the customer again or match it with the correct customer record in Sage Accounting. Please visit Sage University for more videos on GoCardless and other areas of Sage Accounting. You can visit our Help Center too. Click Help at the top of Sage Accounting and search for the topic here. You have now learned how to integrate Sage Accounting with GoCardless.